Hey y'all, today we're going to talk about how to get old, gummy, gunky, nitrocellulose finish to look good again. So here on this guitar, this is a 76 Tele Custom, you can see that there's this kind of gummy, hazy area here in the finish here. And I'm not really sure what's going on with the finish on this particular guitar. Um, it seems as though there's like a clear and then a black on top of it or something. I don't I don't really know how these old uh, guitars were finished from the factory. This may be refinished, uh, very well may be refinished. So I'm not sure uh, what's really going on with this, but I can see that there's bare wood here and this little crack here and on top of it is clear and then it looks like the black is on top of it. So that's uh, not how I would <laughs> do a finish nowadays, but that's uh, um, uh, seemingly what's going on here. So at any rate, uh, let's get at the, uh, the problem here. And the products that I use first to clean everything is either naphtha or Ronsonol. Ronsonol uh, is nowadays not 100% naphtha anymore, I guess, but it still works and it's a very good cleaner. It's totally safe on nitrocellulose finishes. And if you don't believe me, oops. I'm working with a head worn camera, so things are a little clumsy, so don't mind me. Clean that off, dries really fast. It doesn't. Uh, if you use something like alcohol or anything that contains acetone, especially, you're going to get some really funky results. Uh, you're going to—it's going to, it's going to uh, um, cloud the finish more and uh, require more polishing and stuff. Uh, I've made the mistake of, of using alcohol on finishes that I didn't know were uh, nitrocellulose, and um, it, it, it clouds it up a little bit. It has to just be kind of cleaned and buffed out, kind of how I'm going to show you now. So I get it just good and clean with the uh, with the Ronsonol or uh, just straight up naphtha, that works great as well. And now I'm going to use this stuff, which is Meguiar's Ultimate Compound first. And it's a rubbing compound, so ratty old t-shirt. Oop, that's too much, but... I'll deal with it. And just rub it on. Not using a lot of pressure. Just more or less my the weight of my hand. And that kind of get in. And this is an abrasive cleaner, so it is actually cutting the top layers of gunk off of this and you can see that yellow stuff coming off there. Who knows what that is? Smoke from 1983? I don't know. But keep cleaning and you can see after a while starting to shine up a little bit there. Not too bad. Let it dry off and then clean it off. And Less gunk than before, but still gunky. So we're gonna go at it a couple more times. Old t-shirts are great to have around microfiber cloths can work they can actually uh, microfiber can actually scratch these kind of softer finishes uh, nitrocellulose never hardens completely so it's pretty soft and uh, so I just use cotton on nitro finishes when I can for quick touch-ups if all I have around is a microfiber I'll use it so I just let that dry and now we're getting somewhere much much nicer 
I'd say most of the gunky gumminess is gone at this point. Looking pretty good. I'm going to do one more pass on that. Compound again. Just a little bit. And... Rubbed around a bit, let it dry, and then buff it off. All right, and that looks and feels much nicer. A little bit of haze to it, though. So we are going to finish it with this ultimate polish. Um, it's just a an even finer cutting. Uh, material so a little dab of that Again, I'm using way too much but I can't really I don't have a ton of control over what I'm doing because this camera that I'm wearing is not making it super easy Okay, let it dry. And buff it off. Ooh. Oh yes. It's looking very nice. Very nice indeed. All right, so I would go a couple more passes on that even to get out any of the other scratches and swirls, but this is essentially almost piano shine finish perfect. I mean, it's that's that's really good for what? I mean, the whole video's been going seven minutes right now, so that's what I've done in that amount of time with a little bit more uh, uh, work with the polishing compound. It will be absolutely glorious looking and... Um, you know, so that's really what you have to do to uh, to get at those uh, nitro finishes is, first of all, clean it off really well, and then literally use some kind of rubbing compound to get that top layer of gunk off of your guitar and uh, leave the nice, bright, shiny stuff below it. And uh, uh, other things, well, I will do another video on uh, further cleaning this uh, filthy guitar and uh, other products that I use for guitar cleaning coming up next. So hope that was informative. Thanks for watching.